Yes guys, what is happening? It's your boy Cam from Supreme Physique. Um, where the hell have I been? Seriously, where the hell have I been? It's been so long that I've posted on this channel and I just really wanted to get some content out on here. So I guess I'm just telling you about my what I've been up to. So currently what I've been up to is, you know, I'm still gymming, still gymming consistently, still getting in the training, still getting the nutrition. But in terms of that, um, I'm actually in a cutting phase. I just want to get lean. I really want to get lean. Um, not for the purposes of just stripping down and showing off muscle, but for the purposes of regrowth. But what I kind of want to do is, is just get rid of, you know, n not like 80, 80, 80 to 85 percent of my body fat i'm not talking like single digit body fat percentages but low enough that i feel comfortable that i can then go in starting 2018 on a lean bulk to build more muscle i don't know if that really answered the question but in terms of what i've been up to um i've just been super busy I've been doing loads and loads of different projects um, i'm working on a project for an app company I'm also working on stuff at my job. So, and then I'm also trying to fit in training and counting my food and all of that stuff. I'm trying to fit in everything. So it's been pretty intense, but I think I can handle it. You know, more stuff to come um, in terms of like work life, I guess, because this is the vlog and I want you guys to get, I want you guys to get to know, wait, I said that wrong. I want you guys to get to know me better and I want to get to know you guys better when you leave comments um, in the comment section below. So, in terms of my work life, um, I don't even know if I told you guys what I do. So, in terms of my work, I work for like a youth culture consultancy, and that is within a bigger, wider advertising agency called Dentsu. Um, now, Dentsu are like a top three advertising agency in the world. They are global, um, UK, Japan, all over the world and they decided to set up a youth culture consultancy which helps brands tap into youth culture and understand uh, younger demographics better. Yeah, I'm currently doing that. Got loads of different meetings. Managed to meet this really, really cool guy if you don't know who he is, Reggie Yates. Managed to meet Reggie Yates. Um, and, and we did like a little panel discussion with him and it was really cool. Um, and then, yeah, just loads and loads of different stuff. So. Got like meetings to go to, meeting up with Vivo. So if you guys know who Vivo are, um, shit, I don't even know if I can say that on camera. Anyway, um, got a meeting with those guys on Wednesday and I'm on like a panel discussion talking about youth culture and I'm gonna pitch the app to universities. But despite all of that, I'm still fitting in time to go to the gym. I'm still fitting in time to go to the gym. I'm still fitting in time to get my nutrition down on point so that I can lose this body fat um, by a new year hit by the time new year hits and I can just go in and build that lean mass so kind of the the purpose of me saying that or the purpose of me telling you that I'm doing all these things is because there is always time to fit in the gym it doesn't matter if you've got responsibilities it doesn't matter if you've got um, an intense job because I'm telling you there are times when I come out of the office and it's like nine o'clock and I still get my ass to the gym so there is literally no excuse it doesn't matter if you've got a wife or a kid or whatever if you want to make this change for you then you've got to make that change seriously because no one is going to make it for you and you have to make wise decisions when it comes to achieving what you want to achieve with your body and that's what I've kind of done, you know, work life is very, very hectic at the moment, but I'm still fitting in time to go to the gym. Now, there are certain strategies that you can fit in um, that are going to cater around your time. So, like, for example, if you're someone who's very, very low on time, you um, you can do, like, full body, full body workouts. You can do three to four full body workouts. I would recommend three um, per week. But you can do three full body workouts per week. You don't have to be in the gym like six days, seven days a week to build the body that you want, seriously. So speaking of training, I actually just came back from the gym. That's why I'm sweating and I've got sweat beads on my face. What I did was in this workout, what I did um, was it was a chest, triceps, biceps emphasis. Um, and I'm making some really, really good progress, which is really strange because, you know, a lot of, a lot of people who lift weights tend to talk about you know, going in the cut, you can't build strength. 
I think that's a complete lie. I think that's complete bullshit. If you if you don't ca cut your calories too fast, you can actually gain strength because you're still getting enough nutritional support to actually build that strength. So today, um, I was lifting 37.5 kg dumbbells for incline bench press. I don't know what that is in pounds. And then I, I hit it for triple eights. I hit it for triple eights. So that was the first time I've ever done that. So what I usually do is I like to lift really heavy. Um, but then I just really went for the reps um, today on this particular, on the incline bench press exercise. And I've never done that before. So I'm gaining strength. I'm not cutting my calories back too fast. Um, but I am getting to that lower range now because I have been in this deficit for a while. And then after I hit the incline bench press, I did some flat bench, um, did some tricep pull downs, um, some dips. And then what I did um, after that was I did some curls and some pull ups um, just to really activate the biceps. And that that was it, man. And also, also I actually hit some abs. So I like to hit my abs in almost every training session because I'm not in the gym six days a week because schedule is just so hectic. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it in terms of training. Um, that's kind of it in terms of training. So what I'm going to do now is because I'm really sweating, I'm going to shower up, then I'm going to have a big monster meal. Um, in terms of nutrition, actually let's talk nutrition before I jump in the shower. So I don't know if you guys know what intermittent fasting is. I've been doing it for a little while and it is one of the best best strategies for fat loss and wh when we're talking about in intermittent fasting it's not a diet it's really not a diet it's a tool that's going to help you lose weight um, much more mu in a much more enjoyable way and you're going to be much fuller so I'm going to show you like an example meal and you might look at it and be like what the fuck how are you eating so much aren't you going like, to get fat no I'm actually counting my calories I know exactly what my body needs in order to drop fat and I save my calories until I get home. So, I, actually, with the exception of today, I did have a chai latte. Um, love chai lattes. Any chai latte fans, please leave a comment in the section below. Um, had a really small one, had a really small chai latte, and then what I did was I had like a chicken and bacon melt. So this was from Costa. Tallied that up on my, let me, let me try and find it. This is how I kind of track my food. So I use an app called I'm not going to promote the app on here, but anyway, I track all my food on this particular app. It's not focusing. Um, yeah, but all my food that I eat throughout the day is on there. So I use that to, oh, we're out of focus. So I use that app to track my calories um, every single day. And I know my macro split. Yeah, that's kind of it. So I'm just going to jump in the shower now. And then I'm about to eat. And I, I want to show you. I want to show you literally the power of intermittent fasting in terms of fitting in a good amount of calories and I like to keep it to one or two meals literally just one or two meals and this is this is going to be my first big meal of the day um, I don't even regard that chai latte and the and the chicken and bacon melt as a meal because that was just something I just powered through because I was starving and I broke my fast around two o'clock so I had been fasting for a little while um, and now I have more room to just fit in a really, really decent meal. And then I'm, I'm just going to be full. So after that, I'm not going to snack. But anyway, let me stop talking. I'm going to jump in the shower and I'm going to show you this meal. Peace. Right, and um, we're back, guys. So I've had a shower, cleaned up, feeling fresh, feeling cool. Um, and here is my meal. So we have some eggs. We've got some bacon. We've got like eight rashes of bacon in there. And before you get at me by saying this is a lot of food, understand your calories and you can eat big meals like this. That is the power of intermittent fasting. You know how I was saying about the power of intermittent fasting? This is the power of intermittent fasting. And if you didn't think that was enough, I've got a whole bowl of mashed potatoes on the side. That is the power of intermittent fasting. You can eat huge meals, even if you're in a calorie deficit. I'm in a calorie deficit right now. After my workout, I've actually burnt some calories, so I could potentially fit in more food if I wanted to, but that's fine, that's sufficient. Like, think of calories as money. Don't spend your calories on bad shit. Don't spend your calories on dumb shit, because 
what is going to happen it's going to add up and you're not going to notice you know you might think going to starbucks or costa and having that little muffin is okay but little did you know it has 800 calories in it and then you, you wake up in a couple of weeks and you've gained weight what the fuck right so make better calorie choices make better calorie choices because when you make better calorie choices you can have big meals like this and you can enjoy yourself and not feel guilty and you'll be full like i'm not even hitting all my calories that i need for the day in this meal purely because i've saved my calories i understand calories you know i've got an awareness to what uh, how much my body needs in order to either lose weight gain weight or maintain its weight and it's really that simple so because i'm trying to lose that body fat i am in a caloric jesus it is so hot in here because I'm in that caloric deficit, I know exactly how much I need in order to drop body fat. And that's purely it, guys. If you're going to take anything away from this vlog, it is that intermittent fasting is the shit. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated on more videos to come. Um, I can't confirm exactly when those videos are going to come, but those videos are coming. Um, hope you enjoyed this one. Take it easy. Peace.